Uh, we play a game called If You Only Knew. Uh, just short answers to uh, quick questions, okay? Okay. Biggest risk you ever took? I think my biggest risk that I ever took was moving to LA and thinking that I could actually be an actor. Paid off. Hey, thanks. Person you'd most like to meet, dead or alive? I would really like to meet Elvis Presley. I'm a huge fan. Plus, I have like so many questions for him. Yeah. You know. What would you What would you ask him? Like, how does he really feel about black people? You know what I mean? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, you, I think you, that's my number one. Because yeah. every time I'm like, I love Elvis Presley, people are like, you know, he might have been racist. And I'm like, I don't see it. But also, I'd like to ask him. Look him dead in the eye. What keeps you up at night? I think the biggest thing that keeps me up at night is, is my family okay? Uh, coming from a family dynamic with a single mom who is also a breast cancer survivor, I'm constantly like, is everyone good? Mm. Are we good? Mm. We good? We good? We good? Mm -hmm. And then, like... I'll fall asleep to, yeah, we're great, you know? <laughs> A luxury you can't live without. A luxury I can't live without is having my dogs around me. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a luxury to take on another life. We're talking vet bills and food and walks and all of that, but man, are they worth it. Do you travel with your dogs or? I travel with my Yorkie. My pit I can't travel with as much because people think that she's wild. Yeah, yeah. They get a bad rap. She huh? is. Yeah. But yeah, they, it's more so the bad rap than yeah. it is her wildness. What's a food that you cannot stand? Okra. Okra's disgusting. Okay. I don't even know if I know. It's a vegetable. Yeah. It's hard on the outside and it's kind of slimy on the inside. Okay. I don't like that. Yeah. Even when you fry it, I'm like. It doesn't sound good when you describe it. Yeah. Yeah. Some people love it. Like <laughs> some people just snack on it and I'm just like, you're foul. Yeah. Uh, a superpower that you wish you had? I've always wanted like telekinesis. That's mm. when you can like lift inanimate objects and like tables and stuff. Oh, okay. I've always thought that that was really cool because then I'd just fly everywhere because I'd yeah. lift myself yeah. and my bags and my dog. Yeah, flying's a big one. I think people would, yeah. I think that would be, I would like would that Would you be too. able to fly with telekinesis though? I feel like you could. Like using your own telekinesis yeah. on yourself? Yeah. I think, yeah, I mean, you would probably definitely try that. Theoretically, at some point. Yeah, yeah, right away. <laughs> uh, something that uh, we should be paying more attention to as a society. Mm, definitely climate. Yeah. Definitely climate. I've got, I'm 28 and I've gotten to an age where I'm like, do I want kids? And then I'm like, if I did want kids, would I want them to be able to breathe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, would I want them to be able to walk outside of their houses and not? burst into flames, yeah. you know, I think that's 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 the hard part. And I know a lot of people uh, my age are kind of feeling like that, where it's like this idea where I'd love to have like a mini me just wild with curls everywhere, just going at it. But at the same time, I would want to leave them in a world in which they could actually live and have a good life. And I don't know if we can do that right now. Yeah. Are, are you making changes in your life for the climate? You Almost not using definitely. plastic straws or almost definitely. I am constantly on everyone in my life. Even yeah. when I'm on sets, I'm like, hey, I got some extra sides, where's recycling? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's hard when there isn't any recycling around because then you're just like, Oh, what are we doing to the world, man? Yeah. It's scary. It is scary. Um, what is your proudest accomplishment? Thus like thus far my proudest accomplishment, I feel like would be how I, t how I take care of my friends and family. I feel really good about that. I love them, and if they ever need me, I'm a phone call away. I can't always be physically present, but when you really love someone, whether it's a friend or family member or a significant other, like, you gotta do it right. Mm -hmm. when, they've, when they've earned that trust and they get that good stuff, you know, I like to pride myself in how I treat the people I love. Are they just amazed with your success? Are they over overjoyed? I, they're really excited for yeah. me. And also I think it's key that like, I'm still the same girl who just moved here from Phoenix. And um, that's really nice. I've had friends who have changed and become different, which is totally fine. We're human, we're supposed to evolve. But I think that my friends really kind of appreciate that I don't drink my own Kool-Aid. What's a guilty pleasure of yours? Chocolate. Chocolate. Hands down one word. Best advice you've ever received? From my mother. My mother told me that you get to choose how you show up on this earth. Everything is a choice. And integrity is key in human beings. So just watch how people show up. 
you invite someone over for a barbecue or you say you're going to go on a date with someone and they cancel last minute or X, Y, and Z, whatever it be. You just, you don't need to tell people what to do. You watch how they show up and then you treat them accordingly. And same with yourself. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.